Hey everybody, Kelly Atchison at astampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you're enjoying my series on window sheets. This is number three in the series, and let me see if I can find... This was the two cards that we made, two different kinds of shaker cards that we made on the first series video. And if you missed that, you head on over to my YouTube channel. Just look up Kelly Atchison, A-C-H-E-S-O-N, um, on YouTube and you'll find my channel where I show exactly how I made both of these cuties. And then last week we had this one, which is stamping directly onto the window sheet for like a floating image. And isn't that pretty? I love, love, love that look. Now today, instead of stamping on our window sheets, we're going to be adding elements to them. Let's get started and I'll show you some tips about this. I've already got some of my card completed because this is about the window sheet and I don't want it to be about just making cards. So we're gonna concentrate on that, but I am gonna tell you a few things about it. I use this watercolor wash background stamp on the front of my Whisper White thick cardstock layer. And I cut this at four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And this is much thicker than our Whisper White that we use to stamp on the front and you know different elements that we die cut and punch. This is a lot thicker, so it makes for a much nicer card base. Then I also used the Bold Butterfly Thinlets, and that comes with two images. This being, whoops, this being the one that we die cut all the butterflies out of. It also comes with this outline, and I think this matches the Butterfly Wings stamp set. Very, very nice stamp set. And then, guess what else I'm using this week? Painted Harvest again. This is a totally different card, and I'm using the same stamp set as I did last week. I think, I think that this is a winner. I've created a few other cards that I'll be sharing with you in the near future. I'm having a lot of fun with this. It can be ordered as a bundle with the leaf punch that goes with the two leaf images here. This is a nice size for leaves, and of course we love punches. So 10% discount when you order both of these together. So I chose one of the layering circles, and this is about two and an eighth of an inch from side to side. And I put it on my card front, and I ran it through my Big Shot here, and then I ran it through here, and then I ran it through here. I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. So I've popped out three circles using the layering circles, and now I'm gonna come in with just a piece of window sheet that is a little bit smaller. So this is four by five and a quarter. And because this is gonna be loose on the back, I'm not going to cover this up with a piece of cardstock like I did last week. I am going to use mini glue dots, they stick really good to the window sheets. And your bone folder is a perfect applicator for those. I was watching somebody making um, videos from, I think it was from the UK, and or you can just go like this. And they use their bone folder and I was shocked. I had no idea the bone folder wouldn't like completely stick to the mini glue dots and you know, be a big nightmare. You want to put a couple here in the middle too, just to make sure that's staying in place. There we go, one in each corner, a couple in the middle. Okay, I'm just going to take this and center it on our layer, just like that. And here's what we have. So there's our three openings. I'm grabbing my Memento ink and I'm using the greeting from the Painted Harvest that says, I am thankful for you. And I'm gonna stamp that right over here. And I'm gonna bring in those cute little butterflies. I have Flirty Flamingo, Bermuda Bay, and Lemon Lime Twist. And this was a great color combination. It was actually a color combination challenge that was presented to my team of demonstrators on our demonstrator Facebook page. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna do one of the challenges and use those colors so I can post this card on there. Two birds with one stone, I am winning today. Okay, so there you go. I did add a few rhinestones 
to my card right here, three little rhinestones in a row, and isn't that just precious with that window? And then on the inside, I stamped a flower and flirty flamingo and lemon lime twist, and I can just write in here, beautiful card, love the peekaboo windows. So we have this floating image, one with the image stamped directly on our window sheet, and the other one with the image mini glue dotted to our window sheet. And aren't those fun? Okay, you guys, I'm going to have brand new videos next week with window sheets. I hope you're enjoying these. Let me know. Leave some comments. If you have any ideas or something you'd like to see me do with window sheets, please leave a comment under my YouTube video. If you're on YouTube, if you go under the video, there's a little description of my video. You can click on See More there. When you click on that, it's going to give you a link directly to my blog where I'll have all the photos and details about these cards there. So make sure you check that out. There's also ordering links there where you can click on the products. I'll have a list of all the products I use in case you would like to order some of them. I really do appreciate your orders. That keeps me in business and it puts a big smile on my face. I do send thank you cards to everyone who places online orders with me too just to show the love. Click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And again, if you need a holiday mini catalog, um, they started September 1st. Make sure you pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com and check out my blog right here at www.estampabove.com. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.